It's a really simple game where the cat, if it touches the ball, it stops the game, and we're going to say what happens next. So is there a game over screen? Does it reset? Um, we're going to figure that out now. So I'll click go to show you quickly how it works. So the cat follows the mouse, and then when they touch each other and the ball touches the mouse, everything stops. But let's say I want a game over screen. I want this to change from the normal background to a game over screen. So I'm going to go into backdrops, and I'm going to make... Um, a new backdrop. I'm going to paint a new backdrop. Um, you're going to see my artistic skills now because I'm going to colour it in uh, green using the fill tool and I'm going to use the text tool to write the very original game over. Oh, I can't read it because it's in green. Let's put it into black. Fantastic. And I'm going to stretch it so it's nice and big so everyone can read it. Brilliant. Now that backdrop is called Backdrop 2. Uh, very important we know that because we need to know what's called when we change the screen to that. So if I go back to Scratch and I go back to the scripts, I can say when the ball touches Scratch, I actually want something to happen before everything stops. I want to switch to Backdrop and it was Backdrop 2, wasn't it? Right, so... We just go and check that. Backdrop 2, game over. Brilliant. Now, there, here's a mistake that a lot of people make because they then click go and, oh, it's it's still on game over, look. Right, well, there's a reason it's still on game over. We haven't told it to do anything else. So we need to tell it what screen, what backdrop we want it to be when it starts. So if I want to go to... Um, a different backdrop let's find out the names of the backdrops so we've got backdrop one we've got xy grid well let's go back to backdrop one the plain backdrop so back onto scratch and say when the green flag is clicked i want to switch to not backdrop two but backdrop one right let's try oh i was a there we go oh just for a second there we were we were playing so when i click go it's white and then when as soon as the ball touches it goes to green Right, there's another problem that you may have noticed with my game, which is if I'm already touching the ball, sometimes my game doesn't start properly. So let's let's try and fix that. Let's try and fix our ball. So yeah, it goes to a random coordinate, as you can see there. But when it starts off the game, let's make sure that our ball and our cat are as far away as possible. So I'm going to say, get you in the corner, and we're going to get you to go to those coordinates. So every time I click go, you're going to go to the bottom corner. Likewise, with Scratch the Cat, I'm going to say, you're going to go to the top corner. So they are going to be as far apart as possible when we start the game. So now, even when we touch, it goes to game over, I can click start again, and they go to their corners. Brilliant. So we're getting something like a game here. Now, if I was going to develop this game further, I'd obviously want to go and change my backdrop one so I had something interesting going on maybe something like this so here you've got a game that very simple but it works as a full game you can control the scratch by moving your mouse and if you get touched by the enemy you've got a game over screen and it even resets to the start